Hi, and welcome back to Spine Rehab Specialist for another Wellness Wednesday. Again, I'm Earl Hayden, I'm one of the physical therapists here, and today I'm joined by Efren. Today, Efren's gonna help me go over some exercises that we use to treat shoulder instability. Specifically, we do six different exercises to treat shoulder instability. So the first thing we're trying to treat shoulder instability, we wanna work on the rotator cuff, and we're gonna start at a low angle. We're not gonna do anything overhead just yet. So the first thing Efren is gonna demonstrate is a work, a walkout exercise, and this is for the external rotators. So we're pulling out this way, and he's just gonna step out to the side. So we're gonna take a step out. Notice we have the towel roll right over here, and that's just to improve the activation of these muscles um, from this position. Okay, so we have to do this facing both sides. So I was just gonna demonstrate the same exercise with his other arm. So normally he would just turn around and repeat the same exercise, but then just stepping out and now he's essentially pulling in. Okay, just keeping that angle. Okay, this is gonna be the foundation for a lot of these uh, movements. Now, once you're more comfortable with going into these positions, because at the beginning this might feel a little sketchy, but once you're strong enough and you can safely get up here, the way you're gonna progress that exercise is you're gonna have the arm up here. So Efren is gonna do a walkout again, but from this 90, 90 degree position. So if we look at his angles here, 90 degrees, 90 degrees at the elbow, and he's just walking forward and just working on the stability at the front of that shoulder, okay? It doesn't take a lot of repetitions, 10 to 15 reps should be fine. And you can also do this facing the other way, so we're working the back end of the shoulder. And again, this is the same position, just working on that 90 degree, 90 degree elbow and shoulder position, just chasing that stability. So next two exercises we're gonna do are gonna be from this quadruped position. So Efren is gonna be keeping that left arm planted, so pushing down hard through that table, and then he's gonna lift up the other arm. So he's supporting himself through here. This is gonna really turn on all these muscles deep in that shoulder, challenging that stability. But you know, two to five second holds should be good. Maybe anywhere between 10 to 20 repetitions is good for most. A way we're gonna progress this is we're not just gonna reach up, we can actually throw in a little rotation. So he's gonna still plant through that arm and he's gonna reach out and start to rotate up through here and then come back down and then plant again, okay? So working this, work on the stability of the shoulder and also gaining a little mobility of the upper back, but definitely challenging that stability of the shoulder. Last two exercises, which is a simple side lying external rotation for the shoulder. So our friend's right here, he's laying on his side, elbows tucked on his side, keeping a nice tight fist, keeping the shoulder blade squeezed together. And he's just gonna tuck here and rotate this arm up just above parallel to the table. Maybe hold that for a good five seconds or so. It doesn't take a lot of resistance for this. Right now we're not using any weight. I'm happy for some of the more advanced uh, patients or athletes. We can do this for maybe up to like five pounds. Um, high repetitions is good, maybe about 15 to 20 reps. Um, once this feels more comfortable and, and we're feeling more solid in the shoulder, we can advance this by rotating all the way up and really chasing that motion. And then we're gonna push up towards the ceiling, all the way, all the way, all the way, reach, 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 reach. And then from here, we're gonna come all the way down and working on slowly lowering that arm. So this is a lot more stress for these muscles here, but definitely this movement will really challenge that stability of the shoulder. If you're not comfortable with this, or you're feeling some weird symptoms, stay with just turning the arm up, just to, just to above parallel to the table. All right, and those are six different exercises you can do to help treat shoulder instability. Again, you wanna start with everything down here, down low, and make sure you're not having any pain, any, feeling anything weird, numbing, tingling down into the arm or fingers while you're doing any of these exercises. If you're still having some problems with any of these things, please come check us out, come see one of our physical therapists. We can give you more ideas, help you create an individualized exercise plan that can get you moving and take care of that shoulder. So make sure to join us um, next week for or another Wellness Wednesday, um, where we'll show you more exercises and ideas to keep you moving. And of course, join us tomorrow um, for our Thursday for Knowledge Thursdays, where Harry Coster, our owner and our leader, is gonna go over shoulder instability in a lot more detail and teach you more about how to avoid uh, developing this. Thank you.